In the non-digital world, a palette knife or a painting knife can be used to apply acrylic or oil paint to a canvas in long, sweeping flat strokes or in dabs and daubs. After a layer of paint has been added to the canvas, the knife can be used to create ridges or lines or to scrape away some of the paint to reveal underlying layers and colors. In Photoshop, as you can see in this example, using Photospin's image number 169052, the palette knife filter works more with dabs and daubs than with long strokes. It's best applied to images containing large areas of similar color and no critical areas of fine detail. You would, for example, be better served by using palette knife with an image of an anonymous model than with a portrait for a client. The palette knife filter finds areas of similar color and pushes them to a well-defined area of a single color. The stroke size determines how large an area will be created. The stroke detail setting, which offers 1, 2, and 3 as the values, is used to control the edges of the area. Setting of 1 creates long straight edges, while a setting of 3 helps maintain detail along those edges. Softness, ranging from 1 to 10, blurs the edges of the areas of color. Using a very low stroke detail setting and a low softness setting produces an effect very similar to the pixelate crystallize filter, where you create areas of solid color with well-defined edges. To emphasize the effect of this filter, you might want to use rather moderate settings, and then add another layer using palette knife once again with smaller settings, perhaps half of what you originally had. And as you can see, this helps emphasize the effect just in subtle ways that can be very important to the detail in your image. Remember, too, that you can make selections in an image before running filters. You might, for example, make a selection, apply palette knife in one area of the image, then make another selection and use paint daubs or dry brush in another area of the image. You might also consider using texturizer or underpainting to add a canvas look to the image.